Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty quick general reading for you for something that you're not expecting, but it would benefit you to expect it. Um, these will be general, but if you'd like a personal reading, you can take a look at the description, a few different options there um, to get a personal reading from me. But first here, we're going to look at what's going on for you that you don't expect. Awareness of it would benefit you. Alright, Capricorn. What's happening for Capricorn? Ooh, alright, we have the lovers and we have the ace of cups. Okay, so definitely connecting with some type of soulmate or divine counterpart. Okay, a new love situation, you could be meeting someone new or you are having a new relationship with someone, even if you already know them. You know them from past lives though, with it being the lovers, this is a soul connection that you have with somebody, twin flame, soulmates, whatever it may be, whatever you resonate with. Show me more. Okay, it could be involving a Gemini. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two of Cups. Wow. You were meant to meet this person, meant to come together with this person, meant to reconcile with this person. Okay, definitely union energy. Like, these are all the lovers. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Like, this is, you're reconciling with someone, you're re reuniting with someone. You're reuniting in this lifetime, or you're, re you're finally reuniting from past lifetimes, if you haven't met them in this lifetime yet. Lots of love, strong connection with this person. Strong love connection with this person. Okay, show me more. The Capricorn. Four of Cups. Okay, but there's some stagnancy in regards to this. For some reason, it's like everything is so good and then the annoyance or the feeling like what you want isn't there type energy comes in. That's interesting. So much water energy though. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and again Gemini. Four of Cups though. Um, okay, so something about this relationship brings out, um, it brings out some fears. I want to say fears. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a reaction of fear. It's kind of like something about this connection is very strong. So it makes somebody feel like, okay, I'm just waiting for the bad thing to happen. I'm waiting for the negative aspects to come out. I'm waiting for the catch to this situation. Like, why is this so good? This is you or this is somebody else. Somebody's kind of just like waiting for something to go wrong for some reason. There also could be something where someone's receiving an offer from someone that they didn't quite expect. They were expecting somebody else, but then they got an offer from somebody else and they can't deny that they're very connected with this person, but they're still thinking of somebody else. That's not for everyone. Somebody's kind of closing themselves off. It's like something was going really good and you're connecting with someone and then things start to get, like, the feelings are real and then somebody kind of freezes up and closes closes himself off. Okay, show me more about this, please, for Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, like... Somebody starts to have all these doubts thinking, like, how is this going to go wrong in the future? Somebody's putting on the burdens of past relationships onto their new and current one. There's also a message about how someone is going to be explaining to you this, if this is somebody from your past that you're reconciling with, that you're connecting with, that you have a spiritual connection with. Um, somebody's going to be communicating about the past and how they didn't like how things turned out. 
Um, if this is a past person, if you dated this person in the past, there might be conversations about bringing up past issues in the relationship so that they can be addressed now. Okay, that's not also not for everyone. Show me more. King of Cups, but this masculine energy is like in love, like they're ready to be in love. Like they are, there's this energy where there could be a masculine energy that wants to like claim you in a way. I don't say that in a low vibrational way. They just kind of want to like lock you down or they want, they want to make it official with you or something like that. Yeah, they want to move really quickly. They want to be really serious really quick. Okay. Um, but yeah, again, somebody keeps being reminded of things that have gone wrong in the past, whether it be with this person or with past relationships. Someone keeps reminding themselves about how things went wrong before or how things can turn out. They start out one way, they end in a, a different way. Like that's the type of thing that somebody's kind of going through in their mind, which is somebody's kind of looking at the negative side to things when they really should be enjoying the love that they're experiencing with this new person. They should just kind of be free and let themselves go. But there's a little bit of fear of being hurt or the fear from, it's coming from past hurts. It's like trauma kind of is kind of being stirred up a little. Okay, show me more please for Capricorn. Definitely could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Absolutely. So much water. The Fool. Yeah, it, it, there's gonna, it's gonna need a little, it's gonna feel like a little bit of a risk to embrace this person, embrace the love you have with this person. It, like, somebody's gonna need to let themselves kind of go, let themselves be free. Um, if this isn't you, this could be some, this could be the person that you're connecting with. The things that are holding them back from fully accepting the connection is things that happened in the past, Whether again, whether they be with you or they're with somebody else. It's things, whether, no matter what it is, it's all in the past. It's past stuff that somebody's kind of mulling over. So somebody's gonna take a risk and they're going to connect with this person anyway. Somebody's gonna take on this opportunity anyway, but somebody feels like they're taking a risk. Somebody does feel like they're taking a risk. It's like what I'm getting from this is like somebody's scared in the honeymoon stages or something of a relationship. Before things even come out, somebody's like preparing themselves for things to come out or something. Oh, that was weird. Is there something I'm missing? Allowing yourself to make the decision to accept a love that feels good and not assume that it's all going to go wrong. I'm not saying ignore red flags or your intuition, but if your ego and past things that have happened are constantly telling you all the things that could possibly go wrong in a connection, how they can wrong you, whatever it may be, like how, whatever may have happened that's being triggered now, it's like somebody's needing to decide to accept the real love and see the love for what it is. Yeah, and this could be you, this could be this could be the masculine energy or the other person that you're connecting with. I say masculine energy because typically it's the feminine energies that are watching tarot and that are connected with the energy and stuff like it's the divine feminines, whether you're male or female, it's the divine feminines. Okay. Show me more, please, for Capricorn. Wow. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands in the Hierophant. Sorry, my puppy's chewing on a bone right now. Um, of course, right there. Sorry if you can hear that, but some type of conversation going on here. Um, all right, so somebody's going to commit to what they're worth, right? They're only going to accept what they're worth. Also, somebody is really committed to spirituality, okay? Somebody doesn't want to make the wrong decision. Somebody's, like, really connected with spirituality. They want the best for themselves. They don't want to make the wrong decision. They don't want to 
connect with someone and take all these risks for someone just to have the same things that happened in the past happen. But this, that's part of the ego that's telling you that those things are going to repeat themselves or this is going to be happening again. Right? So believing in that the best possible outcome will come about and believing in that you are where you're meant to be and you're going where you're meant to be. You're always being guided to where you're meant to be. You don't have to worry about that but I'm feeling like there's like somebody's like spiritual they're not wanting to make the wrong decision or connect or or connect with a karmic partner again somebody's sick of the karmic partners that's what I'm getting okay um, but somebody's gonna be communicating this too I was talking about this in another reading earlier live um, but somebody's gonna be communicating how they feel about this and in, while communicating, staying committed to themselves and what they deserve and I feel like it's going to alleviate a lot of the stress of worrying about how things are going to manifest or what's going to happen down the line or how how the relationship will turn out to be in the end that type of energy, the, the anxiety of that will fade away but I'm also feeling um, that when you're feeling like things are coming up that are triggering you from your trauma of past relationships or past situations, your ability to just communicate that you're feeling that or communicate the problems that you're having. Okay, Gracie. Communicate the problems that you're having, then it's definitely going to help um, move the relationship to like a higher state, like to a more connected state and a more open and free state rather than harboring like fear of things going wrong or harboring issues that you have with someone or something like that. There's it's something about this new relationship that you're having that's really triggering. But um, you definitely have every ability to work through it with communication and trusting your path. Um, and yeah, and this could be you. This could also be the person that you're connecting with as well. Just so you know, like, if it is the person that you're connecting with, this is just to let you know, like, what they might be going through or thinking what's going on energetically. They're stressing out about past traumas and not wanting things to go wrong. But that, in turn, don't manifest things going wrong by doing that. But that's what's going on. Um, okay, so thank you so much, Capricorn. I hope that if this resonated with you, provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation, best of luck as you go through it. Um, yeah, that's all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.